Hello everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode in the Quest Cape Trilogy. If you watched the first video, then you know what this video is all about. We're going to be doing the three big boy quests leading up to Song of the Elves. So we're going to take care of the Fremnik Exiles, Monkey Madness 2, and Dragon Slayer 2. Since we're doing Dragon Slayer 2, and we're going to be fighting a lot of dragons and doing some hard fights, we're going to need a little extra defense, so I went and did a little bit of something to prep for it. Look at that. We got ourselves a Dragon Fire Shield. Come on, come on, move, move, there we go. Now that is just fucking mean looking. That's gonna come in handy a lot for these quests that we're gonna do. And you know, I deserve a little something nice. I guess we're just gonna hop right into it and gear up for Fremnic Exiles and start the quest. Also, nobody's allowed to make fun of my Amulet of Glory this video. I would be wearing my Fury, but I loaned it to my alt account, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. No one make any jokes. Dude, this uh, <laughs> this boat on the minimap needs to chill. Oh my god. So I was just killing all the guards here to get a Fremnic Shield, which is one of the items for the Fremnic Exiles quest. And I didn't realize that it's a one out of 128 drop to get it, so it's kind of rare and you can't buy it from the Grand Exchange. So there's another way to get it, which you can actually get it for free during the quest if you have a Ring of Cheros activated. So I'm going to do that instead. So let's go start the quest. I think you just talked to Brunt the Chieftain, which is this dude. Um, ask for a quest. So Brunt the Chieftain says he just needs me to check out the sand pit because there's some weird shit going on in it. So I'm gonna check out the sand pit. And it's a basilisk, oh God. Big spooky monster, I hope I don't fight anything harder than this during this quest. And then I searched these rocks and found a fang. And I searched these boxes and I find a venom gland. I guess that's all the clues I need. Did I just get exiled? I think that just happened. Oh my god. Some dude came in and was like, you know what? We've all voted and we don't fucking like you, so you have to go. I'd like to say the quest should just end there, but alas, we gotta go regain our honor. Why are they talking about me behind my back? <laughs> I'm sensitive. I actually think I'm gonna go try my luck by killing the guards again, because I don't want to go all the way deep into the water birth dungeon cave just to talk to a guy that's just too much work so I'm gonna I'm gonna kill these guys hopefully get lucky one out of 128 drop chance I didn't get my Fremnik shield but I did get a nice pair of ranger boots no ranger boots got another clue scroll there it is the Fremnik shield we're about to run out of health too all right ranger boots here never lucky man never lucky so now that I got the shield or I guess I, sh I should say what I'm doing so I have to make the shield of a legendary warrior named V, and I had to collect all the parts for it. Um, the first step is the Fremnik shield, and then I'm not sure what the next part is, but I know I gotta go inside this weird chicken leg house and talk to Baba Yaga, and she'll tell me what to do next. Lunar glass is what she is gonna help me make. Hey, look at that. The gamer message. You've been playing for a while? Consider taking a break from your screen. Very nice. So the lady in the chicken house, she told us that we need to make or in order to make lunar glass, we have to like enchant or imbue this. She imbued this molten glass for us and we got enchanted or something at this altar. So let's go do that. Just needs a hundred astral runes, which we got. There's the lunar glass. So we got two out of, I believe, four parts. So the next thing on our list that we got to make for the quest is the uh, a polishing rock, which we're going to get by dumping our our pet rock here. Aw, even the pet rock e exiled me. That's fucking heartbreaking. Not you too, no. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. Um, so we're gonna submerge our pet rock into a geyser, and that should polish it. So that's what we're gonna take care of. So the geyser's up here in the top of the mountain camp. Well, that's hilarious. So apparently, we can't dump our beautiful pet rock into the geyser and boil it alive just because... 
you know, it's too emotional. So we got to pay for someone to wipe our memory so that we can dump our friend in the, in the geyser. There's a life lesson in there, but I'm not going to be the one to figure out what it is. All right, the very sad moment has come. It's time to boil our dear friend, the pet rock, alive. This version of my character doesn't give a fuck about the rock. He doesn't even know who it is. He got his memory wiped. That means it's just a rock to him. But we'll know. So I went back to Lunar Isle and went to the mines and mined a few lunar ores. And this should be the last thing that we need is three lunar bars. And then I can smith those into the sigil that goes on the shield. Bam. And that should be everything I need to make the shield. So I think we gotta go back to Brunt the Chieftain, camping out in the woods, and hopefully we make the shield from that. So I went over there and nothing happened. So I guess the last step, the sigil I just made needs to be enchanted. So I'm taking it to this bitch and now it's enchanted. And now I think I can just use them on each other. And there is the shield. A uh, fuck yes. I can't wear it quite yet, but I can look at it. So I gotta go take it to the chieftain. Let's go. They fucking made me a, uh, they made me a Fremnik again. I'm back in the club because I made that shield. But I guess that they're fucking overrun by basilisks. So now I got to prove my worth. Pop this shield on looking fucking sexy and let's go. All right. I killed enough. They say, get to the boat. I don't know if we're abandoning ship or going somewhere better. I don't know what's going on, but we're getting in the boat. So this uh, dungeon right here is where the final boss is. And I have to solve a puzzle to get in there. So I don't even know how it works. So I'll just be back when the puzzle is open or when the door is open and the puzzle is solved. I unlocked the door, but it was like super lucky. I like completely guessed on the very last attempt I had and it ended up being the right answer. So let's go inside and, you know, fuck up whatever's in there. Time to fight the boss. The Jor Jorming J Jormingand. Jormingand. It's a big fat Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets basilisk. All right, you finna die, baby. Come on, one more hit. There we go. Final boss is down. Fucking easy mode. Now we drink, of course. I like the way this guy thinks. Maybe I got a little bit of Fremnik blood in me after all, huh? There it is, the Fremnik Exiles quest done. Gave us a bunch of Slayer XP, a bunch of crafting XP, rune crafting XP, and also access to Basilisk Knights, which can drop the Basilisk Jaw, which can make the uh, Nate is not face guard, which is the best strength helmet in the game. So I might be grinding those out pretty soon. The next quest in our sights is Monkey Badness 2. So let's gear up and get going. It is time to start Monkey Madness 2. I just came in through this balloon, which is the last thing I needed to do the quest, is you need to unlock the balloon transport. So it brought me right over here to the Grand Tree, and now I talk to King Narnod Sharin to start the quest. I've heard that this quest is hella frustrating, so I guess we'll find out. This quest is all about finding the nefarious traitor to the gnome people, Gluff. He's been missing since Monkey Madness 1, and we're about to put an end to his shenanigans once and for all. So we went to his house and kind of looked around. We found a handkerchief, which might belong to his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, Anita, I don't know. So Gluff fucking made a run for it. I think he used the hot air balloon to ditch town because he's a wanted criminal. So we're gonna go try and find him with the exact same method. Oh, I need a log. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, I got the logs in there. Now it's time to take off. We're gonna go to Entrana, and we can't bring any weapons or armor on this island, so we're pretty bare bones right now. 
Why does his character model look so much more realistic than everybody else's does? So up next is a big long trek through the, I don't know, the big spooky cave system. And then we have a fight with Kruk, one of the bosses at the end. That's what we're gonna be going for. So we gotta head over to Ape Atoll and talk to a guy named Garkor. All right, so I've snuck onto the island of Ape Atoll and now I'm a monkey, a ninja monkey. gotta be fucking kidding me okay so things are not looking good it took me a while to get to here and i think that the next room is going to be the boss fight and i'm only down to three foods well i guess i gotta eat i'm down to two foods and i just got prayer and i don't know the boss fight and it's a whole bunch of shit so i guess we'll see how it goes um This doesn't look very intense, but this is super fucking intense because I'm out of supplies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, just hit him. Just fucking hit him. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Fuck! No! <sighs> Let's go get our shit back, hopefully. Okay, so luckily, thank God, there's a shortcut right as soon as you enter the tunnel that takes you back here and all of your stuff um, gets put in a gravestone outside of the instance. So I just got all my shit back. I was getting pretty nervous. Cool, so I got everything that I was gonna get from there. So now I'm going to rebank and then give it another shot. And this should be super easy because I'm have i gonna have a bunch more supplies because I can just go straight from the, um, the bank to there pretty much without having to you know, only have two fish for my fight. So this is good. This is actually better. I should have banked before I fought him. I'm geared up. I got a more defensive outfit on. I brought more potions. I have more food. This should be super easy, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, this should be better. So we're going to pot up. Boop. And boop. And pray range. And piety. And get the fuck in there. There we go. Take his remains. I got his uh, his paw. I got his paw. I don't know what to do next, so see you at the next, I don't know, checkpoint. So I made it to the end of this cave, found the wizard guy, and I turned the the paw from Kruk into a Grigri, which can turn me into him. So see, I'm a ninja monkey right now. Get ready for this. This is going to be a real intense neck-breaking change here. Oh, look at that. Now I'm crook. The monkeys have plans of attacking the the gnomes or somebody, I don't know, the humans, whatever it is. But they have a alliance with the trolls, so now I gotta go fuck up the troll leader over here. Should've brought better armor than fucking proselyte. Ugh, at least I beat him. So the troll agrees to call off the attack now. Um, now we had to do the same thing with the ogres because the ogres also have an alliance with them. So we gotta go fight the ogre boss now. One more big boy hit, let's go. He's dead. Sweet, I got rid of both of the monkey's most important allies. Now what do they have left? Nothing. I've got a warning from a friend that this is the hardest, most irritating part of the entire quest. So let's see if the quest helper plug-in on Runelight makes this any easier. Damn it. Ah, oh, that sucks. I was really close to doing the whole thing without getting caught once, but I made a dumb mistake. And I realized it, like, as I saw him coming towards me, I'm like, there's nothing I can do. It's too late, I'm gonna get caught, but, uh, that's fine. At least we, they didn't confiscate the shit, so we don't have to start over again. Oh my god, I finally did it. That took so long, man. I got caught so many times. I kept on having to get sent back to the beginning and keep on filling the satchels up with more gunpowder and... It took forever, but I planted all of the explosives on all the different parts of the the platform. It says it's safe. Of, up here it says it's safe for me to get caught and then take the boat off and then I'll blow the whole fucking thing up. So let's go get caught. Wow, now that I'm trying to get caught, I can't even do it. Come on, there we go. Climb down the ladder. Oh, you narrowly escaped the explosions as you were away from the platform. 
I'm glad that all those monkeys got blown the fuck up because they were really pissing me off. Gotta go back and tell homeboy that mission has been accomplished. Removed the gem. Charged onyx. Jesus, get the fuck out. I, ugh, that camera angle. And let's see what that did. Nice, I fucked with this machine. There's some shit going on. I told the king that the trolls and the ogres pulled out of their alliances. And I told them that the platform got blown up. And I told him that I destroyed their secret weapon, or that someone destroyed their secret weapon. And he called off the attack, which sounded like a good deal, except for whatever the fuck this is. Ah, it's Gluff. Of course it's Gluff, that fucking asshole. This is the point in the quest where I need to be all geared up and ready to fight the demonic gorillas and possibly Gluff. I'm not sure if I can bank in between the demonic gorillas and the Gluff fight, so hopefully I can, but otherwise I... I think I'm ready. I got two combat styles. We're in the demonic gorilla cave. We gotta kill two demonic gorillas before we can fight Gluff, so... I killed a few demonic gorillas on Trailblazer League, but besides that, I have not killed any, so this should be interesting. There you are. I died. Oh, big rip. Big rip. Let's uh let's assess the damage. I didn't realize we'd had to fight fucking the tortured gorillas and the demonic gorillas like all at the same time. I thought it'd be like just one at a time. So I was ill prepared. But let's head back and see if we can get our ship back. Alright, I'm ready to give this another go. And what I'm about to do next will either make or break me, but. I'm about to pound a shot of whiskey to loosen the old nerves. If you're over the legal drinking age in your country, then cheers the camera right now, because we're going back in. <sighs> All right, boys, let's do it. Nah, I'm out. I'm out. Oh man, they are so much harder to fight two at once. God, I did it. I did it. Holy shit. Okay, now it's time for the final boss, but I'm going to teleport out of here and come back to this. But we fucking beat the first one. God, that took three tries. Oh, look at his boys. He no, what? Get the f... Oh, I knew that was going to happen, but that was fucking... Just, oh my... You killed Neve. You big fucking asshole. It's time for my... First attempt at Gluff. Let's fucking get in there. Yes, dude, let's fucking go. Oh my God. Dude, that was the end of the quest. Pretty much, I just I just got to turn in the quest and that was it. King Awawuji and King uh, Narnode Shireen have a peace treaty together now. So now I'm a friend to the monkeys so I can go to Ape Atoll without having to hide as a monkey. And that's it, dude. Monkey Madness 2 is done. Holy fuck. When I tell you I spent all day on that quest, I spent all fucking day on it. I've been doing this quest for like eight hours now. Now the only thing left to do is to gear up and get ready for Dragon Slayer 2. Hey there guys, just wanted to say that every clip for the rest of this video is gonna have this dead face cam box from an old Twitch stream. My bad. Alright guys, it's time to start Dragon Slayer 2. The whole point of this quest is you want to become part of the Myths Guild, which is right here. 
and you have to prove yourself in order to become a member so you get sent on a perilous quest of slaying dragons and that's what we're gonna do today how fucking cool does my character look right now now this is why quest helper kicks fucking ass Boom, that is a puzzle solved, very difficult. Looks like the gang's all here waiting for me. Perfect boat. This room looks promising, but also terrifying. And it's got the same color theme as the Inquisitor's armor set. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So Bob the Cat doesn't remember his life as Robert the Strong, so we're gonna go to Sophonim and talk to the magical Sphinx, which should help us out. I can show you the world. We have arrived in Sophonim. Let's see if the Sphinx can help us out with our conundrum. I just got the power to talk to cats without using my cat speak amulet. That's pretty cool. I wish I had that in real life. I could tell my cat she's a bitch. I was told that this bitch could help us unlock Bob's memories of being Robert the Strong. We gotta make a potion and then we have to drink it which will take us to a magical dimension where we can kick Robert the Strong's ass and I guess that unlocks the memories. All right, let's go. And on this day, the cat known as Bob unlocks his memories of his past life as the great warrior Robert the Strong. He remembers his battle with the Dragonkin and sealing the ancient door with the Dragon Key. He then split the key into four pieces so that the door may never be opened again. That is until this little fucker came along and- We're gonna go try and get the pieces of the key, I suppose. So we're headed into the crypts. There's one piece of the key, three more to go. And thank you to Ava for making me this fancy new metal detecting locator orb. Let's head to the swamp and find that second piece of the key. There we go. Just found the key piece, dug it up, and now we have two out of four pieces. All right, there's Vorkath. Let's fucking hopefully get this kill. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I guess we'll figure it out. All right, I got a bail. I didn't die, but I got a bail, and I learned a little bit from the fight, so I should be able to do it the second time. Let's go for take two. And I'm out again. Come on, man, I just need one more hit, please. One more hit before I die. Come on. Is that it? Dude, let's fucking go. <laughs> no supplies left. No prayer left. Less than half health. Oh my fucking god, bro. Alright, I got the dragon key piece, three out of four and an ancient key. I think that means we're all done with this. So the last piece of the dragon key is somewhere in the Karazi jungle, so we gotta chop our way through here. And there we go, the very last piece. Look at that perfect circle in the inventory right there. Blast fire wave at all three of these. And here we go. Is this gonna be it? Yeah! Now that is a dragon key if I've ever seen one. 
So now we got to go back to Lithgren and open up the big fancy door. Got to take the boat, climb up these stairs, climb down to his trap door, climb down this staircase, and we're back in this fancy room with the big fancy door that we now have the key to. Let's see what happens when we unlock it. Well, looks like I've gone and released evil upon the world. We gotta go call upon all of the kingdoms and put an army together to fight this fucking thing. So I went to Ardoin, Falador, Relica, I assembled all the troops I could, and now we're about to have a big old meeting to talk about how we're gonna deal with these dragon bastards. All right, I wanna say the quest is almost at an end because we're at the last part of it, but realistically speaking, this part is the most intense part of the whole quest. The big final fight at the end, multiple waves, multiple dragons to kill, all leading up to the big boss fight with Galvec at the very end. Luckily, apparently it is in sections, so we can teleport out after different phases and re-gear uh, up, grab more food, supplies, and then go back. So we'll see how it goes, but let's gear up and get started. He killed Bob! Oh, he's dead now. He's fucking dead. <gasps> what? Oh my god, I forgot about that mechanic, bro. <laughs> Just insta-killed right the, as soon as I get there. That's fucking hilarious. So I forgot that I'm supposed to be keeping my eye on Galvec because throughout all the dragons I kill, he'll just shoot random fireballs that will insta-kill me. So I gotta, you know, be more aware of that for next time. Let's go get my shit back. Alright, let's try that again. Fuck, dude. I didn't see the fireball coming. Ugh. Side note, every time I die, I have to pay 100,000 coins to get my shit back, so... Dying is not something I want to do too often. Oof. Dude, that fucking hurt. There goes another 100k down the drain. There we go, that's the last dragon dead. And now there's nothing left to fight except for the final boss, Galvic. Obviously I'm gonna start this fight off with... Teleporting away immediately so I can grab more supplies. All right, this is it. The first attempt on the final boss. Let's see if we can do it on the first try. What the fuck was that, dude? Oh, <laughs> I knew that they fucking dropped. I knew that the bombs were coming, but I didn't realize that... That's another 100k down the bag. All right, let's try and get a real attempt for once. This is starting to piss me off. Bro, I walked into it. Are you shitting me? I also bought a bunch of dragon bolts that I guess I didn't realize my rune crossbow couldn't use, so... Guess we're gonna buy a dragon crossbow just for this. Alright, this is the attempt where I finally kill him. Let's go.
did it. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, let's fucking go. <laughs> That's the end of the quest. I just gotta turn it in, but that was fucking it. Oh my god, that was hard. I'm a fucking hero. Aw, I just remembered Bob died. That makes this whole thing sad, and now I'm not as happy. We've completed our task. We've slain the dragon. We've saved the world almost single-handedly. And now we can finally turn in the quest, become a myth, and have access to the Myths Guild. We've finally proven ourselves. Dragon Slayer 2 complete. Holy fuck, dude. Do I get any levels off of that? None. That's brutal. But I can pass through here and take advantage of all that the Myths Guild has to offer. So if we talk to Ellen, then she can give us 25,000 experience in any combat stat four times. We're going to dump it all into magic. So 100,000 magic XP. There's 78 magic. And we can also trade Jack over here for the mythical cape, which I'm going to buy two of. One to wear and one to use for when I want like extra crush bonus because this is the best cape for crush bonus in the game and the second one for reasons i will get into in the next video but yeah we did it we only have one quest left in the entire game and that is song of the elves the requirements are pretty beefy for it so we'll start off the video by getting those stats we'll start off the next video by getting those stats and uh at the end of next video we should have ourselves a nice sexy quest cape so i guess that's where the video is going to end thank you very much for watching go ahead and uh click that sub button if you haven't already that would help me out a lot because i did waste a lot of money making this video so it would be nice to have it not be in vain but yeah i will catch you guys next time where we come to the thrilling conclusion of the quest cape trilogy so thanks for watching and see you guys later